Good day, everyone. My name is Scott Hogarth from Milton, Ontario, Canada. Hello, students. I hope you're watching. Here we go. We're going to do Bunk Eye to Say Pipe. First movement of Say Pipe. First movements of Say Pipe. From here, he comes at me, throws a punch, and as he throws it, I trap here, bring this arm down, and down he goes. Underneath, twist, right from one side, then to the other, <coughs> head, and down. Right? The same book, similar book, I guess maybe this approach would be better. <coughs> From here as it comes, trapping, I can remove my hand, I can come in here, grab, bring up and around, from here, take the head, go from here, step back, and the neck is broken. Let me see if I can, right? First movements, okay. Slowly, we'll do the arms. This time he's coming with his other hand. As he comes, is, is, whoosh, and back, and then forward, in, yes. Seipai has a lot of dynamic body energy, and this is how it's done. Okay, did I bend? Sure, you start. And just start. Okay, fine. Next movement, he grabs me, and as he grabs me, I come down. I bring the hand all the way off and then turn it. From here, stop and break his elbow. Right? Bring that around. From here, kick. Grab. Elbow. Height. And back fist. Reach to the throat. Right? It's that hand, first of all. Height. Height. From here. Height. 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 And the next movement. Grab from, from here. And coming down. If it's the other hand, let's do the other hand first. Coming down from here. I pull. Clean out. Peace. From here. From this position. Oh, yeah. Hey, twelve. Hey, poop, hey, and down. Okay. Say, <laughs> by his energy and flow, very strong and powerful. Next move. You know where you're at. <laughs> From here, I've gone one, two, clear. One, two, kick, pull, backwards. I turn, he fires a kick. This, double hand block and kick. Inside hand, the hand. Invert the hand, wrap, break. Hey. 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 This move. From here, take the shoulder. I come around, blocking in, palm facial. To the groin, to the groin, to the chest. As he's falling back, peace, hey! All my energy and weight. Right. <laughs> okay. <Not> okay. <laughs> From here, I spin. Sit. Peace. Punch. Other hand. That's fine. Other hand's fine. Hey. I ace. Then he grabs with his other arm, and I come through. Ace. It's ace. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Nice. I need a break. <laughs> Where's my drink?
<laughs> so now I kind of do the same thing in this direction. I get to here. I come out. He's coming this way. Throws that punch to my head, and this punch comes here, and this here, peace, goes underneath and hits. He throws the next punch, peace, and it hits. In other words, what's happening here? That head comes, I eat at the same time. My targets, solar plex, liver. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, boom, boom. Okay. Yes. The leg forwards. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Oh yeah. From here, this hand. So we go one, two. In here, three. From here, a kick. Grab and hit. And hit. Okay? Same in the opposite direction. Right as we go here, we spin around. One, this way lead. One, two. From here, what's you okay? Kick, grab, pull, shot. From this position, I go in, take his head, bring it in this way. Turn it over and bring it back. Eka! As that breaks. Throughout this energy of Sepai, you'll notice there's an awful lot of breaking energy, an awful lot of splitting the neck, turning them upside down. It's, it's pretty interesting stuff. So slow, but we do. This trap. And I bring him down. Come from here, I step in, close my hands. One, two, three. Right. Fix my hand. Clear it off. Turn him in. Break. Pull. Kick. Grab. Hit. Back twist. This off. Right. I spin. Peace. 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 Yeah, I'm sweating on the storm here. Any questions? About how the sky to work? Do you just say, by the way? No, I don't. No? I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what the Bunkai is. So. So you're watching what's going on? It's very strange. Okay, let me explain about Bunkai. Bunkai is about learning about transferring energy from one place to another. Not necessarily exactly that technique. It could be any number of techniques going, any number at all. So yeah, that's how we do that. Basically, that's it. My seminar, I got nobody to teach, so. <laughs> and you'd like to. I'm enjoying it. That was awesome. Did you enjoy it? How about, um, they weren't here yesterday, maybe some of the small, or the uh, Aikijutsu? Yeah. Did <laughs> so you just go through the side of labor system? Yeah, because uh, they weren't here yesterday. But that was good stuff. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey. Sure. Please. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> no, he's the Yuki. You're going to be doing it too. Yes. Yes, we are. It's in this Now, of course. How do you get a finger? It's kind of a question. Yeah, that's that's kind of like But how do you hold it? Do it. Right. Actually, it comes back on the first step. I'm going to get to it. 
Release his grip here. Don't take his finger. So where, where are you grabbing here? Well, here? The thumb part initially. Right? Yeah. On the end of the nail. Hands on. Okay, so you're there, right? So I go in here. And that's where I'm taking right there. Right? And then I do that. Now try to do something. I have no idea. Yeah, you, are, you already realize that that's not possible. So if, I'm, if I'm here, you're just going right in there for that. You're just going right in there. It's just like that. That's right. Good. Stop it real quick. So there's other ways to do it. First, you can. How are we doing? <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's just a run along, right? Right? Can you touch me? Uh, Try with your other hand. <laughs> awesome. I like I'll you. Do what you for You're awesome. Like you know awesome. 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 Yeah, there, and like I said, there's a million more, right? But that's, that's an instant release. Yeah. Sure. So that's first finger. What we used to call fingers, we now call first finger, right? Grab it. Okay. Get in there. Yeah. You are. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Now, push. Right. Now, get in here to this finger with the other hand. That's it. Now, peel them off. Okay, that's it. Now, go for the finger. Right, the two fingers. Now, let me just push your hand a little bit there. Face quick and pull this way. That's right. That's right. You want to pull the fingertips to the elbow and the elbow to the fingertips. That's it. You can use your body. Yes. Let me show you. From here. We're using now baby finger fulcrum. The top of the hand to the top of the pressure. My base energy here, I lift. And I see he's already tight. Right. Now we can collapse this way. Okay, anytime you hang on to those fingers, we can do some damage. Now, the three major holes that I teach here is baby finger fulcrum, thumb fulcrum. This one's nice. All I have to do is pull to myself. Right? And the last one, which is kind of unusual, is a circle. Okay? So yeah, you can make a dance. Dance, dance. Okay? Go ahead, try it. Those two fingers. Just go, just go, just watch. First, this way. Okay, that hand. That way. Now bring it in the circle. And as you do, bring this down. That's it. That's it. So this flexes here. You want to get to the end of that finger. Can I use both? Properties of the lever. What are they? Fulcrum, weight, and length. Length. So when we're dealing with a finger, we go to the very end. Yeah, look. Can I use you again? Yes. <laughs> if I try to put pressure on this finger here, right. you can withstand that all day long. No, you can't. Yeah, I could. You, know, you know what I mean? It's not, yeah. not devastating. I can go to this one. And as long as you keep step fast, that's not too bad either. But the second I go there, it's instant agony. Like I'll literally tell them it's instant. That's it. Awesome. Very good. Now, grab her again. We're going to finish with you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, no problem. Reach across with, the, with your right hand, okay. across his arm, okay. and simply grab the wrist and pin it to your chest. Now, listen to me. Just pin it to your chest. Simply step back with your right foot. Right? Now, as you're there, you want it to come back. So you're here, and you want, as you roll it, bring it to there. Right, now bow. Bring that tight to your chest, and bow forward. That's it. The next thing he's gonna do is roll out. He's upside down already. Okay, so watch it. This is what he's doing, right? Okay. So I'm going here, and then I'm coming back around with my body here, and then I come back out of it. 
Okay, so it's the motion of my body that actually turns his hands. Now, uh, yeah, yeah. from here, I can always go to compound the arm. Right? And compounding your arms, left and right arms, makes it ridiculous. And we're still working on second lever, so I'll show you this compound and then you can do it on. From here, when you twist out, like you're going to do wrist throw. Everybody does wrist throw, right? This hand slides under and catches. Now it's compound and leverage. Can you stand up straight? You can do a backflip, but that's all you can do because the guy's a gymnast, right? But from here, I just pull the ground and down he goes. He has no resistance, he can't resist the energy. It's just a problem. So come here. This is simply visceral, right? Just do that. That's it. Go on. Go on. Okay. Now, take him to where you're at here and then slide this hand my sticky hand underneath and catch that knuckle right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Catch the knuckle. There you go. Yeah, he's on his way ABC, to the ground. Not A to Z. <laughs> yeah, ABC, not A to Z. He's on his way to the ground at 100 miles an hour when you put that on that thought. Right? And there's no question. So the wrist from here, it's kind of a remarkable thing. Now, Aikido and Hakujitsu, when you, when you do their style of wrist roll, you roll the arm this way, take the wrist this way, push through, and drive the elbow through. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a major dance, right? If I want him down, I go like this, I go like this, and I direct the elbow down and through. Okay? So he's got the ball. His energy has, he's, he's got no choice, okay? Right? He's got no choice, right? It's like I said, when we, when we go to that, this wrist does a lot of stuff. You know, typical standard jiu-jitsu, he has my hand, I swing it this way, and I kick with that leg, and I take him back this way. Right? So it's all just a little bit. Okay, so we go to now the third, uh, third lever. This is a good one for a woman. You're dancing. Right? Old scumbag here does this. Gives you a little grab, right? Well, don't freak out and pull away. Because then he has advantage. Pull in, but don't grab his elbow. Now go back. He pays for everything he touched. Okay? <laughs> okay? Try it. He put, he put his hand on your leg and try it. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And then all you do is backdrop. <coughs> Where does he go? Face first to the mat. And he's like facilitate anywhere you want. At a wicked speed. Okay? You can facilitate anywhere you want before. Because you automatically went there. Yeah, yeah. That'd be my instinct. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course. But now, that's great not. instinct. There's nothing wrong with that. That's good. We rely on this instinct yeah. thing. That's it. There you go. And he's, and he's ready to go. Now, some of the remarkable stuff about this is, if I do this, and do this, and this, he has no choice but to go down. I'm just rolling him over my arm. I'm using my arm as fulcrum center, right? So his whole body has to go and follow. So elbow has also two movements, right? The first movement, as you know, is against the energy of the elbow. So we step on the back of the we go here, we have that energy against the elbow. If you go above the elbow, he bends his arm. Okay. Now you're trapped. What about the joint back here on the shoulder? That's four. I'm not there. Oh, yet. okay. <laughs> ABC. <laughs> ABC. Also, is this, this better for a break? Breaker control. Okay. Breaker control, you're in here, right? You can always roll the arm from here this way and roll control here. This again is compounding leverage, right? Okay, the compound that I'm going to show you from the elbow is a little different. We'll take this from a uh, buddy here, going to stab him, right? So what happens here is I get out of the way first. Okay, this is a stupid place to be even if you block. That knife's sharp and heavy. He lets go. I'm in trouble. So the first thing we do is we step out of the way and we go to here. 
Now from here, we have all that bump on the leverage already, already in place. It's already there. Then all I have to do is stand up straight and the bridge across is bridging up. Right? That bridge pulls that whole wrist into a flat situation and he's, he can't move it, he can't get any power from it, he's stuck. So we go from, <laughs> we go from there and I can do this one. As I turn it out, if he grabs his hand like this and I roll the hand, I can fairly simply do that. Now again, we have that compound of the image. And I have them in that, what they were talking about, the 30%, so I can throw them anytime. If you get that 30% weight behind you, you're going down, and that's the end of that. So we have first lever, second lever, third lever, right? And then we can go from there. This one, fourth lever energy, right? I roll away from that hand. I don't want to be there. I roll in this way, pressure down here, and I bring my body right to him. From here, I spin him to his head. He's not. <laughs> hey, David, that was great. A little red flush on that one, you okay? <laughs> hey? I thought it was my feet, actually. No? <laughs> so we have that ability. The shoulder is one of those things. One of the neatest energies that I like from the shoulder is off a punch. As he punches, I come out to the side again. This delivers a blow in the occipital region, and all I do is high and low. Right, you like this one. <laughs> step and fall. Okay. No, step back. Just step back. Okay, look. If I'm coming at you, you better get the hell out of my way. Okay. <laughs> so, on the inside, right? Yeah. Here. Palm. What? Okay, and you see on the other side. Oh, okay. Right. And all I'm doing is I'm stepping away. Straight. Palm. Lift. And as as any leverage works. Up and down. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Up and down. That's it. Keep rolling them. Okay. If you get to this position and you box, drop, knees into his elbow, and he's gone. Okay. Right? So shoulder. Unique number four. Okay? Number five. It's the entire length and breadth of his backbone from point forehead to sacrum okay if you go higher than that he can resist once you hit the sacrum and you have chance you can take the tendon or his hyra and displace it not good he's good go ahead please follow him yeah, yeah. Where is she pushing? Too high? That's it. Right there. Now he's going to tell you again, facilitate. So give him a little bop. That's it. God, that was good. Okay? One thing. Here, we're both strong. Here I got it. You're trying to do everything for me. Oh, she's not in tight. I didn't see. Go ahead, do it again. <laughs> well, now let him punch you. Do the whole thing. There you go, yep. Yeah. There you go. Right? So you slide off. If if up in here you can do cut you go. Right? I don't want to spend any time on him. I just want to go. Okay? Go ahead. Go. Yes, don't spend any time on him. Go, 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 Ken. Go. Give me a kick him. Exactly. Make sure you finish him up, right? Good, enjoy yourself. <laughs> Fifth energy. I'm standing beside this creep, and uh, he gets a little, you know, a little grabbing or whatever. So, well, really? Well, we have a we have an abundance of choice here. It's hot. But but it wouldn't be. 
it'd be here. <laughs> anyway, we grab here and hang on. This hand high, this leg low. Now, wouldn't this look ridiculous when the guy was dancing with me on the floor and the hands up here? Oh, yeah. Now, if you don't like them, you point here. But if you really don't like them, you point those groin. Let me try. <laughs> so you have to keep a hold of this wrist. Yes, ma'am. So I have to keep a right. here. Let me step up here, right? I know. <laughs> Turn this. That's it. Yeah, try again. Let me see. Give her a squeeze. That's it. Now turn the opposite way. Excellent. Now, what would make that stronger for you? you you're using your hands. What? I know, it's hard when you have such big hands. Put your body energy behind it. Now, so you don't slip, watch. Take this hand here, low. Push here on that ridge. Use your body energy here and move forward. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. So you're now, you're now combining your leverage energy. So you're going from fifth to second, maybe back to third, and you're playing with the energy circle. Okay. Anything you can do to take him down. One of the, I believe, one of the fastest, quickest ways. If we were fighting and he threw a punch. My eyes can slowly slip the punch and this hand goes here. So as, as he moves, I'm focusing right here. My energy, right into his shoulder. Other hand back of the shoulder and straight back. Right, if he doesn't know how to break fall, it's a good thump on the back of the head and you walk away. Let me try. It's just slip that energy quick, that's all. That's it, now straight back. Get your legs out of the way and your body out of the way. When I move, you notice I, just, I split. It happens quick. Yes, it does. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Now you can let him up and let him have it, or on his way down, let him have it. Okay. The, the one that fifth lever that most people don't see is this one. He grabs me. I want to bring him to me. So I hit him. The radial nerve butts, and that brings him forward, right? Boom. Back of my hand to the head, front of my hand to his chin, and nose. Over here. Everybody see this? This, this pressure point on the nose is what convinces him to turn. And you have him to the ground. Please. Okay. <laughs> yeah. His arms. That's it. Left hand back. This one up here, right? Yeah, but put your left hand first because you got to control. So pull them to you. Oh, left hand. Here. Left hand here. Oh, here. Okay. Right. Pull them to you. Now, the convincer is that way. Push and pull. That's it. And he's down. Okay? And that's, okay. The, that's the other angle of that lever. Okay? The next levers are kind of interesting. We go from, stand this way. We go from up top, fifth, to down to the bottom, sixth. And as I move into the sixth, this is a Chinese leg trap. If we were manipulating, maneuvering, my right leg goes in behind him and traps that heel. But I grip it like a hand. And from there, all I do is kneel forward. And there we go. Okay? Please, go. Bottom of my foot grips us. That's it. There you go. Awesome. Absolutely perfect. Okay? If you drop at the same time you hook, you'll break his knee. Okay? Because that's where all your energy is gone. Okay? If this guy's been big number one jerk, okay? <laughs> right? you take him apart that way. The interesting thing about this lever is that if you pin this foot to the ground, and I wouldn't listen, he has no choice but to go 
the way I want them to. Okay. Right? Here we go. Just, just, just understand the manipulation. This isn't a technique exactly. It's a, it's an understanding, right? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You can move that big guy any way you want. Excellent. Okay. From here, if man's got me, or he's got you. When you drop, you drop all your energy, quick twist through the escape link. Right? In your necklace, one of your necklace links is open. The reason it's open is so they can't be choked and the jeweler can't be sued. Right? That's the truth. From here, he grabs me. I go through the escape links by straightening my arms and dropping my body weight. So I go right to the ankle, roll in with my shoulder. And just straighten your arms and pop through. Yep. So you just shoot it straight down. You need to get through. Yep. Straight, straight through. Straight through. Straight elbow straight. Down. Shoot down. You, yeah. Never done that. So this is down. the biggest part. So you right. get two that's right. Now get your body weight on top of it. Now straight through. That's it. Now push. There you go. Is that right? Yes. Now the only thing you have to worry about is that foot. If you notice when I did it, I got out of dodge. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't need one. Go right on top of the knee. Oh, sure. Right, right. Okay. Same lever, last technique. I'm fighting with this guy. Bang, bang, bang. And I land on the ground. Ooh, there we go. He's wanting to kick me in the head. Block, trap, roll. Peace. His groin is really sore, and this leg is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now block with your hand like this so he doesn't kick you in the face. Here comes the kick here. Yes, around it. That's a girl. You know, instinctively, you did what a white belt would never do. And instinctively, you did it right. You brought your feet to the front and pushed straight back so your energy was in the correct line with what you were doing. Okay? Just, did you feel that? I was just going with Try it one more time. And try and feel what you're doing. Okay, so. No, no, stand up. Stand Let me grab you. Okay. So I'm here, and like I'm in a fight. Yeah, you yeah. drop. Here. It goes to kick. Okay. Drop. Here. Roll, and that's it. Now to the groin. Yeah. Last time, actually, you brought your feet even more forward on you, which is even better because you have more power. Okay. Thank okay? You. Great. Yeah. Now, last lever. From knee to hip, right? Seventh lever. This is one we don't see a lot, but yet, to almost every throw there is, this exists. If I'm going to do, say, Ipon Sionagi, I go in under my shoulder, I bring my hips back in line, but what am I kicking back with my butt? Right? Shoot! I did it with my right hand. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, well, I should stop it from a punch. He's going to punch. I bring it, grab. I bring my butt in line so that that crease we have in our rear end lines up with his femur. And then I pop it back. Shoot! Okay. <laughs> this is seventh lever takedown. Yep, yeah. that's it. Your feet were a little wide apart. Okay. And what that does is make you shorter. Okay. Stand up. Now spread your legs out. More. <laughs> See? And you want your height. So Charlie Chaplin. Right? Height. Pop. Just like a, uh, what do you call it, a scissors jack? From here. Right? Yeah. Lifting this. I'm a high heel. I wear a high heel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Scissors jack. That's it. 
Get under you. And pull to your right. Go to my, this way? To your right. Left. That's it. And step out of the way. Right. right? Now he's a big guy. Try one more time. <laughs> this time when you jack, step back. Step back. That's a girl. There you go. Okay. All you have to do is get out of the way. By the time your foot was on this side, if you're in here, you're going to get in trouble because you had trouble getting around. Okay, so have the foot on the inside. Okay. Yeah, remember that thing we did with the fifth lever? We can do almost the same thing with the seventh lever. But he decides to touchy feely drive me. This hand high. This leg. Catch. From here, all I do is this leg pop back and this hand forward. Now you go. Just reverse. Yeah, just reverse what you did the first time. Try. <laughs> so from behind here? Yeah. There you go. So I should probably lean forward more. Sure. Okay. But he's gone. Okay? That that ability to catch that leg and push him forward is he's gone. Okay? I'm gonna show you something that <laughs> we didn't show you yesterday, which is called the Dragon's Claw. Uh -oh. And it's about nerve energy. Dragon's Claw, if I was to do uh, Dragon Kung Fu. Dragon's Claw is right here, right? When my brother, when I grab to his face, this thumb goes there. This is on his temple. This one here is on his auditory button. This is on his mastoid and this is at sublingual. Each one of these places is a nerve center plex. And when you grab one, two, three, four, and five, and I go, he will do anything I want him to do. Okay, it is a devastating feeling. It, uh, it lights all your nerves, and it feels like I'm just ripping in. But I'm not doing anything other than just touching them, and then squeezing them together. All right. All right. No, and you can do it. One, just, just to the edge of the nose, sublingual, mastoid, auditory, temporal. Now, squeeze them together. That's it. That's it. Bring them in. Now, how do you bring them in? Where do you have to bring them? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Remember that. Now he's yours. This hand and pressure the good technique. That's it. There you go. There you go. Here, let me show you. I'll, I'll put oh, it on. Yeah, I'll put it on real quick. I'll put it on real quick. Okay. Okay. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, I like being Right. <laughs> you understand now, right? Yeah. And you, uh, I used to quite often work as a cooler from the time I was about 16, 17 years old till I was 45. Can't tell you the number of times I walked the guy out like this. Let's go. They get outside and they're going, my face, my face, my face. <laughs> and I go, nothing wrong with your face, buddy, nothing wrong. But it feels like it's been lit up. Okay. If you okay. should ever, and I have once, double grab. You have no idea what to do. Your body just kind of lets go in, and the energies drop away, right? Okay? Thank you. Pretty neat, eh? Yeah. Any, other, any other questions? Can you still all grab me? Yeah, sure I can. <laughs> sure I can. Thank you. Thank you. Right? So I'm in this position? <laughs> it is a wicked peculiar fit. Okay. You just got rich hand and open. Remember, remember the energies that come with that. Now, we can, we can do any one of them at any time. Say you're sitting in a chair, I want you out of the chair, I just go sublingual. And you're like, yes sir, I'm out of this chair. <laughs> you have a bunch of nice, that likes doing, right? likes doing. Then you have this this nerve here that you that you bear and attack. Yeah, and, and I'm just just lightly tied. I'm not driving these at all. If they were driven, you immediately go down because your body can't respond to that kind of pain that fast. Right? It takes that you got to process the whole order. It's just a my style, uh, I have, I hold my belts in jiu-jitsu and hapkido 
and Kung Fu as well, Chin La. Some of this is Chin La, some of it is definitely Chinese. And I put it together and I call it Hapki Jitsu. So uh, it's part Korean, <coughs> the Jitsu part. I honor Professor Wally J because he was brilliant. Uh, just in a few short days, he influenced me a great deal. Um, and I really liked the man. I spent three days in Trinidad with him and thought he was a very special dude. So I honored him very much. This is, this is my system now. I put it together. Seven leaders is something I've done over 25 years. And uh, I taught it. I taught at St. Mildred's Girls School, and I teach this to the girls. So they have a combative equality to a man, right? And if you use those levers, you have that combative equality, right? So that's, that's where I'm at. Are you here in Texas? Uh, no, sir, I'm in Canada, I live in Milton, Ontario. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. this, is, this, is my, this is my passion. I've been training since I was uh, 18, and I'm uh, 60 now. Oh, wow. yeah, that's, so it's, it's a lot of fun. But I thank you very much, everybody. Hi, guys. So, yeah, see you soon. Cool. Thanks very much. Thank you.